Okay, what is up YouTube? It is Night Terrors here, aka Alex. Alex. Um, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do a motion tracking intro. And, and this one's mainly for those who are having trouble with keeping the um, title or the text straight without sliding, without moving, without shaking, etc. etc. Okay, so this is how to fix it. So, what I'm going to use today is um, After Effects. Cinema 4D and Boju for 5.4, 5.0, 5.0, okay, fuck, okay, um, so let's start off with After Effects, I'm going to open this, open up After Effects, okay, 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 we've got After Effects open, so let's import a file, uh, a cinematic, I want to import if you have your own cinematic, that will be good. But I'm going to look for one in here somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on, guys, bear with me. Okay, main intro, Nuke Town. Right, so this is my cinematic. I'm going to click and drag this down her. So now we've got it her. Okay, and it should be. Oh, it should. And that's what it looks like. Uh, just a preview of it so we know what it's see. There we go. And I'm going to put the text somewhere around here. And yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's our cinematic. What we do next is go to composition. Uh, composition. Fucking always get that word wrong. Composition settings. Okay, open that up. 1280 by 720 sweet and change the frame rate to we're gonna go to 30. Go to 30. Here we go. 30 frames per second. And go okay. Now I'm gonna go back into the settings, composition settings, open it up just to check that it's all good. It is 30 frames per second. Still there. Okay. Now we're going to go to composition and then add to render queue select add to render queue click on best settings just just check it out 30 frames per second sweet okay go to lossless and change the format from video for windows to jpeg sequence okay all good go okay output to make sure you have now when you do this make sure you save it in a folder that you can find um, I'm going to name this one nuke oh, oops I'm gonna call it nuke town um, intro folder yeah, just open up this folder. Make sure you save it in a folder as well, because if you save it on a desktop, all of the pictures are going to go all over the place, and it's kind of hard to delete all of the files. Because when we're saving it, we're saving it as a JPEG sequence, which is a lot of pictures. Okay, so save it in a file that you can find. And then go render. And this should render out a cinematic into a shitload of pictures. I can see here that I've got it is 122 pictures. Bring. Okay, we go X, and we can exit out of here too. Don't need to save it. Sweet. Okay, what we need to open up now is go to Boju. Some of you might have um, the lower version, but I've got 5.0 and it's all good. So open up Bojo. Bojo or Bojo. Back to Gargand. Sweet. Once this is open, go to Import Sequence. Click on that. Right, go to the folder that you saved all your images in, which is 
which I saved it in here. Where is it? Uh, Nuketown intro. So I'm gonna click on that, and I'm going to click on the first. I'm gonna select the first picture, which is this one. Zero 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 dot jpeg, and then I will open it. Okay, change the frame rate to. Well, let me. Then we go to change the frame rate to thirty. Make sure it's 30 because it needs to be the same frame rate in all of the programs that we're going to be using. Start frame zero, sweet. End frame is. I thought it was 22. Ah, fuck, now it's good. Who gives a shit? That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. So then we go apply. Go apply. Okay. What? Don't go close yet. What just happened there was when you went apply. The frame rate went back to 25. Now some of us have this, some of us don't. But what we need to do is after that we had to change it back to 30. Make sure that it is 30. And we're going to click apply again. Click apply. Did it change? No. It's still 30. So if that's still 30 after you click apply, go to close. Okay, some of us don't notice that but I've just pointed it out now you should notice what we need to do now as you can see all of the uh, JPEG pictures are in there now and it just looks like one whole freaking cool cinematic okay so what we need to do now is go to track features click on track features uh, all frames sweet go start and this should track out all the points in the cinematic yeah Okay, so once that has finished, we can see all these here, right? And what we need to do next is we need to click on Camera Solve. Select that. All frames, sweet. Then we got to tick this box, Optimize Camera Path Smoothness. Tick it. Go on, tick it. I know you want to. Then you go Start. Okay, go and press start. And that should um, render out that again. And we'll be back after this short break. Mm, Alright, so that has just finished. As you can see, there are no dots for that reason. It is probably because it is selected on the last frame. So we bring it back a few frames. There we go. And then you can see these dots. So don't worry about that. A few. On those last couple of frames, I don't know why it does that for me, but don't worry about that. As long as it's all here, we're we'll in the middle to the beginning, the beginning and middle and the end. Okay, we've got all these dots, blue and yellow. What we do now is, because I want the text over here, and I can't do that if I, um, I can't, I, we need to select the points, okay, that's what we need to do. So I'm going to put, just start about here, okay, so I can see where I'm going to select the points. So what we do now is we click select scene geometry and select add coordinate frame, or it looks like from, but it's frame hint, okay, click on that. And then change this type. From origin to Z axis, okay? Z axis. And then what we need to do, let's get this out of the way. And Z axis is is not an up and down. It's not like the what it's not like here to there. It's not from left to right. It's from it's like from a walking distance from here, if I was going to walk from here to over here to this point, that's Z axis. Okay, but I'm going to click on this point because I want to connect that to this point over here. So I select this point and then I hold control and then click the second point. So holding control will make sure that it keeps those two points the first and the second okay 
So once I've selected my two um, points for the Z axis, I go, I select on connect to selected, okay? Click that. Should be sweet. Add another coordinate frame hint. And then change that type to X axis. We're not going to use the Y axis. Not going to use that at all. Just the X axis and origin and Z. Okay. Selected X axis. Then we're going to go. X axis is from. It's like from left to right pretty much in simple terms. So I'm going to select. Um, hmm, what one can I select? Sheet, sheet, sheet. I'm going to select this one. And. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know. I'm going to select this one. And hold control. And select that one. That should be good. That's my X from here to there, left to right. Once I've selected those two points, I can go to connect to selected. Then we're going to add another coordinate frame with hint. And change the type to origin. Origin. Okay. And origin is going to be a middle point. So in between the Y and the X axis, we're going to find a middle point. And this looks like that's the closest to it. So click on this one. And I'm going to go connect to selected. Once all those tracks are connected, we will update the coordinate frame. So select that, select this down here. Okay, so I'm just going to click it a few times just to make sure. And it is all good. So I'm going to go close. And then we're going to select export up here. And then select export camera solve. Okay, um, I'm going to save it in my rendered tracking folder, so you can save it in whatever folder you want, just as long as you can find it, and I'm going to call it new, oh no, wait. yeah, I'll call it new, oh no, I'm not going to call it new, I'm going to call it Nuketown um, Intro. Yes, I'll call it Nuketown Intro, blah. Okay, so save it in that folder under that name. Um, change the export type to Cinema 4D because I'm sure most of us are using Cinema 4D. Um, and then we are going to see the start frame, change it from 1 to 0. That's good. 0, 1, 20. Yeah, sweet. Change the scale scene from 1.0000 to 100. 100. Make sure you do that. And then, what you're going to make sure this is ticked as well. I'm not sure if it is already, but yeah, make sure it is. And then we're going to save. So, save. And that should be sweet to open up in Cinema 4D. Okay, so once we do that, you can click out of here. Nah, don't worry about saving it. Sweet, all good. Okay, before we open up Cinema 4D, what I want you to do is open up the file that you saved the rendered track in it. Okay, so I, I saved it in this folder, rendered tracking. Okay, open up that folder under, and here's the file here, Nuketown Intro Blah. What you need to do now is right click on that file. Oh god. Right click on that file. Open with uh, notepad. Open with notepad. Select that. Should open up this. Okay, this here. Don't ask me what it is. I'm just going to call it a lot of bullshit. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Now, what we need to do is I'm gonna have in my dis uh, in my description down below underneath the video I'll have all of the codes that you need to change from and to. Okay, so we go to 
notepad and we are going to edit I'm going to find and what we need to find first is this first one key key negative 3.14 blah 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 so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it in here see find what it's going to find that and then we go find next okay and there it is all right um so here it is we this is um what we're looking for okay key negative 3.141593 what we need to do then is change this code all right just delete this keep the key in there change it to key 0 0.60 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 zeros then once you do that go just above here see there's key negative 0 0.60 here too what you need to do is change this and all you need to change is that negative delete it that's it that's all you have to do just delete that negative and that should be sweet for that part what the next part we need to change is um, go to find or go to replace I'm going to oh, okay we'll try replace go to replace and the next part we need to change is this bit parent item one zero zero blah 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 and I'm going to paste it, paste it in there see find what find parent item blah 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 replace it with what and then I'm going to go replace it with that one zero 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 something 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 two that's all it's changing the one to the two and then you um, click find next and then you go replace okay then you go replace what the frick okay now exit out of this it's not working for me so okay we've got our item here we, we've got our what we need to find parent item one point one zero 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 one we change the one at the end and change it to two and that is all we need to do once you do that go to file save not save as save just go save exit out of this okay once that's done this file that you've just changed should be sweet to open in cinema 4d okay so we go to cinema 4d open up cinema 4d